I made a banner plots plugin on my server that allows players to protect their builds using their skull and a banner. Okay, we're gonna make banner plots. You craft a banner with your skull and you place down a banner and that entire chunk is protected. The first thing we need to do is we need the player head to drop whenever they die. For that, I created a player death event that gets the head from the player that died and drops it. So long, crew world. No head? Dang it. Oh, I didn't reload. <laughs> I, uh, I gotta spin the wheel now. Let's do it. Spin the wheel. Please be like something stupid that I can like bust out real quick. Ugh, dude, I hate, I hate the clothespin with passion. What's clothespin? You're about to find out. Oh yeah. See, I'm killing myself here. You're not gonna be able to kill me. Hiya! Ah, oh, that's not enough. Hiya! No, hiya! Yes! Your skull is dropped. Did I get one? Oh my gosh, we can't even tell because the creeper blew up. You blew up the head that I was debugging with. No, <laughs> he's chasing me now. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, he's got it to process, isn't fair. Ah! Oh, 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 I'm dead. There's a skeleton, kill me skeleton. So rat king, yes, <laughs> the skeleton killed me. Did it drop? That worked. Oh. Oh crap, oh my gosh. So my head dropped, which is great. Holy smoke. We need to create a custom recipe that allows you to craft a banner with a head. Making a custom recipe with dynamic MBT data turned out to be near impossible in 1.20. But as I'm editing this video, they've actually made this possible in 1.21. Thank you, Mojang. So instead, the player will right click with their head onto a banner to claim the land. Okay, when I click on the banner, it should add a blue border now. Okay, let's try it. <gasps> oh! <sighs> okay. <gasps> Look! But I didn't want every player to have the same banner pattern. I wanted it to be unique, like a fingerprint. So, I coded a random pattern generator based on the skull's unique ID. Here we go. <gasps> Look! That's random. Does it happen every time that way? It does. Okay, so this is mine. That's your unique banner. Yeah, well, they're all a little bit ugly. Okay, Seth Bling. Ooh, I like Ethos Lab. This is Ethos. This is Seth Bling's. Mumbo's. Green's. Notch. Exumavoid. Oh, wait, that's Dinner Bone. That's Notch. Hang on. Dinner Bone. Exumavoid. Notch. Rat King. He doesn't like his and mine. Now that players had a way to claim land, I needed to add the protection. For that, I used World Guard to protect the chunk that the banner was placed in and save the information to the world's file. Only if claiming the chunk is successful are we going to update the pattern with the design. Ha ha ha! Winner! Winner! What does that mean again? That means that it successfully wrote to the file. The last thing to do was to remove the protection if the banner had broken. And there are many ways that could happen, but I painstakingly wrote handlers for every possible way a banner could be broken. And it worked. So now, if you log on to my server and you make yourself a banner and die, you can protect your land. Just as it was intended.